been living in all over Boston for my whole life. And this is the place where I feel the most welcome. We knew more people within a week of moving here than we did in the two years that we lived in South Boston. What I love about it is the mixture in the community. You know, the gays, the straights, the older people, the people having babies, the people who had babies, the single women, the single people. And, and the ethnic mix is fabulous. And I feel safe here. So it was a no-brainer. Um, I've been here about 15 years. I moved here uh, and to purchase. I've been living in all over Boston for my whole life. And this is the place where I feel the most welcome and um, where I've built my business and where I've really put down roots. Um, I'm a realtor. I'm with Keller Williams Boston Metro now. Based, uh, I work out of my home, but my office is in the Back Bay. And I focus my business on Roslindale, West Roxbury, and Jamaica Plain. I work with homeowners and I work with home seekers and it's a lot of fun. My name to many people is Roslinda because I do specialize in Roslindale because I love it and I feel that if a person truly loves where they live they can uh, sell it best to their clients. The best reason for somebody to move here is the congeniality. The fact that when when I go down into the square to buy a cup of coffee or grab lunch or pick up something at the village market or, or one of the shops, it's an hour and a half. I cannot allow 20 minutes for a visit to Roslindale Village because I bump into everybody I know and I want to find out what's going on with them and they want to find out what's going on with me. There's a lot of shtick. Everybody has their shtick. You know, Stephen Babcock, the former puppeteer, will from across the street always yell, Roslinda Ale! And, and I mean, the place just has a lot of characters, and I, I feel that after 15 years, I have become one of them. Some of the merchants have been here for their whole working lives, and then, and then there's a great mix of new people who come in. They learn from the old people, and they cater to this uh, new clientele that's moving in, people, people in their 20s and 30s, um, single people, newlyweds, all kinds of couples people with a kid and a dog, people with a couple of dogs, all kinds of people move in. The, the Arboretum is a huge draw, both for dogs and kids, you know, people with dogs and kids. And I think people feel that Roslindale is a little less gritty than Jamaica Plain and a little more gritty than West Roxbury. So they feel like they're still living in the city, yet they have a backyard and they have a, a shopping district that they can walk to. And there are some people who don't use their cars all week. They, they walk down to the commuter rail in the morning, they're in the back bay in 12 minutes, South Station 14 minutes, and then they walk home at night and, and do their shopping locally. They eat at one of the restaurants here. It's a really uh, accessible and um, pedestrian friendly neighborhood. That's what I love about it. I love how convenient everything is and how open people are. Well, Adams Park is, is a, to me, geographically a big piece of why the square is so user-friendly or the village as we're supposed to be calling it now. Adams Park is unique because it's a it's sort of a rotary but it's um, but it's used for all sorts of events you know in the summer from June to October it's the farmers market every Saturday and lately um, local merchants have begun to have their little stalls there as well to draw people into their businesses the um, uh, Tony's Market, the butcher, has his own stall there with olive oil and pasta and, and that draws people to his store. Um, the uh, Fornax Bakery sells their bread there and their desserts, you know, in the morning when people are hungry and they're shopping. And of course the, the farmers from all over the state, fantastic, lots of organic stuff. There's a, um, a woman there who makes soap locally at her home and she sells it. On Thursdays in the summer there are um, bands, music, all kinds of entertainment that comes in for families on Thursday evenings. Beautiful. You, you, there's sitting room only there uh, on the grass. Rosendale Main Street does their Easter egg hunt there, the tree lighting ceremony. It really is um, a wonderful outdoor center for the community. The Bay State Model Railroad Society is hidden away up on top of uh, Drewby's Bakery and, and Delfino Restaurant and it is um, 
It's a, a statewide destination for serious collectors of model trains. They open up to the public only a few days a year, but um, I know that the lines are out the door at Christmas time for kids to see the trains and play with them. Really, it's a, it's a landmark. This is an incredible, incredible community. And it's supportive of all the little stores. Um, people shop locally here. I don't ever see anyone walking around with Barney's bags or Macy's bags or that sort of thing. I mean, they come to be in this community and they do different things while they're here. They may shop my store. They'll go to Birch Home and Garden. They'll go to Drewby's to buy lemons at 25 cents each. I defy anyone to tell me where you can get better lemons for less, or I know where you can get them for more. Um, they go to the fish store, they'll go to the wallpaper store and buy their paints. It's all one-stop shopping. You park one place and you walk everywhere and you're, you're done. It was very welcoming. We always felt, you know, in places we lived before that since we didn't grow up in those places, you know, we weren't really part of the community. So we, we always, maybe it was just perception on our part and not real, but we always felt a little excluded. So. But when we came to Roslindale, we felt very welcome and, and um, you know, yeah, we did jump in, but mostly because we were able to. We were sort of welcomed. It's a comfortable mix of sort of the older generation and the, the younger generation. And you're finding lots of outlets for things to do with the kids and lots of other families. Absolutely. And then every year we seem to have a new restaurant around town, so, so that's great. Nice. We just happened to start opening up, uh, you know, a, a restaurant, and 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 and, it, and it's worked out great. Um, we we tend to think that, um, you know, because we live in the area, we get very um, involved in the community aspect of the restaurant. I mean, of of the neighborhood. Um, you know, we have a lot of, you know, based on us living here and the history of us, uh, my family being in the area, they. Um, uh, we get a lot of community people coming into the, the restaurant talking to us or, or, or um, hanging out with us and, and it's great because they love to see all the newer people that move into the area and all the newer people love hanging out with the people that have been here for a while. Um, there's, a, there's a very good dichotomy going on and, 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 and everybody uh, um, has been happy with the changes and, 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 and it's been great.